What is up YouTube? It is Drex. I am back. So today I just want to do a quick review. I don't want it to be as long as my last video. Uh, about the Storm Collectibles Streets of Rage 4 Axel Stone figure. Um, I'm very excited to get this. I'm glad I got was able to get this figure in time because man... Like as I said before, Storm Collectibles figures sell out pretty fast on, on, on the web, especially on the website. So thank God Amazon came through for me. So let's get into it. So as you know, I've said it before, I'm a big Sega fanboy. So obviously, I grew up playing the hell out of Streets of Rage. And I was even more happy when Streets of Rage 4 got announced and came out. Not a big fan of the fourth game, as I am the second, the first and the second, and the third, but... It gave me it gave me what I wanted, and, and I was nevertheless satisfied with it. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, we got Axel specifically from Streets of Rage 4. This is his get-up. He's grown the beard. He's definitely muscular like he always was in the previous games and all games. And, yeah, this is his get-up. So, I've already reviewed, went into in detail about the joints and whatnot being very tight and... Very high quality. The figure is very high quality as well. You get a variety of weapons, for real. Just as much as you would in the Streets of Rage games. I'm just going to try and show this. Hopefully none of this stuff falls out. Oh, damn it. Uh, let me, let's do this. Okay. So, I see you get a variety of hands, faces. You even get a hairpiece. Extra hairpiece right here. Ah, oh, damn it. This, the, the side fell out. One second. But you get a katana. You get a butcher knife or a chef knife. You get a boomer ring. Damn it, the katana fell. <laughs> a meat cleaver. You get the bottles and the broken bottles. Yeah, you get a wide variety of weapons. You can also emulate the... Uh, combo attacks as well. I'm not going to do that and pose a figure. You also get uh, another weapon as well. So yeah, man, this is in, in depth detail. Um, obviously, I got Axel holding the baseball bat. <laughs> Those were like my two favorite weapons. Well, my two favorite weapons is the holding the Streets of Rage games. Well, well, my three favorite were the katana, the belt, uh, not belt, but the bat and the uh, pipe. Obviously, that pipe <laughs> did a lot uh, to beat the hell out of the uh, enemies, <laughs> yeah, not it would take sometimes one or two hits. <laughs> but yeah, overall, this is a great figure. I really love it a lot. Um, I hope they release a Blaze Fielding one, um, one and maybe an Adam character, uh, an Adam figure. Hell, if they even went as far as releasing like the appearances of the figures from the previous games, especially the first one of Adam, Blaze, and uh, Axel, I'll. I'll pre-order all of those. Hell, if I have to pay like four or five hundred dollars, I'll do it. I love Sega, and I love the hell out of Streets of Rage. I mean, I'm a big fanboy of those, and I love them a lot. So, oh, well, I also forgot to mention as well with the box, you get a free background. This is what I love about these Storm Collectibles figures as well. They come with these backgrounds. You can set them up for a, di as a diorama. So mostly, if you have a detox, I got a pretty shitload of detox, but. They're all filled up with figures and stuff, so I'm just going to do that. And flipping around, you get another part of the background. This looks like something from Streets of Rage. Definitely. So I think it was probably brought from Stage 1. Definitely. Uh, Streets of Rage 4. So, let's see what else. So, yeah, as I said before, it's a little rubbery. Um, it's not a stiff figure. It's not as stiff like the uh, Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat figures, but it's definitely very flexible, very awesome. Yeah. Um, I definitely recommend getting it. I will have him linked in the description. Um, if you want to get your hands on uh, an Axel, I, like I said, I act on it fast because these Storm Collectibles ones, they're off the market. They're they're hard to get, so. Yeah, that's all I just wanted to do. So, yeah, um, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I will have also have my Twitter and um, Instagram linked in the description, so you can follow me on those two social media platforms. And, yeah, I'm going to keep trying to keep some more content coming this week. All right, take it easy.